Sorry, guys. Um, obviously, it's super, just a, a really tough, disappointing ending um, uh, to, to uh, a, a terrific game against a great team. You know, and the St. Mary's team is, is dominating our league right now, and they're playing at elite level. And um, I thought our guys um, competed in every way and, um, um, you know, made big plays down the stretch. and made you know uh, a couple really nice comeback runs and and um answered the bell in all the ways except for except for you know getting a stop in the last 10 seconds so um s super proud of our guys congratulations st mary's hit me in relation to the suspensions how long did you have to make corrections or adjustments to the game plan um, or maybe did you make adjustments to the game plan? um we kind of do what we do uh you know we had uh, some guys that um, um, you know, had to get familiar with playing in different positions. So we, you know, we had the last, you know, little while to take care of that. With Noah Jackson and uh, Tiki, what what happened with them, and when did you kind of realize that they were going to be suspended? Um, ah, guys, I'm super emotional. Like, w we just had eight dudes like battle like crazy in heroic fashion. What are we talking about here? Okay, like we just had some special guys put up special performances. Let's talk about that. Coach, I felt like the end shifted when you put in Trey Stewart. Yeah. Um, I felt like you made that just by how do you feel how the nature of the game changed once you watched? Yeah, you know, Trey's got some really special skills that he's, you know, he's just cultivating right now. You know, he's just a young player, but I thought he was spectacular. You know, we've been talking to him so much about um, playing, uh, making plays off two feet rather than jumping off two feet. And, you know, he had an unbelievable possession where he really, really attacked the, the baseline hard, came to two feet, turned, and calmly turned around and made a shot. I thought he was really live defensively. Uh, he wasn't perfect, but he, he gives us energy and ability to cover the floor that's really special. And, and he, you know, he's young, so he's learning the rest of the game. And that's, um, and, 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 um, you know he's he's growing and and uh, I'm super grateful for his efforts and he was super important for us tonight. You know, I mean we're fighting ourselves down the stretch about you know is, is he you know do we need to you know maybe he should have finished the game like he, he he's he really made a huge contribution to us tonight. I'm super grateful for that. Career high for Jalen Hall. What impressed you about his performance tonight? Um, well, uh, you know, I mean we all get to see it together like we're all seeing this together like. Um, you know, uh, Down did not have a great week last week, right? It was a really hard week for him last week um, in the Bay Area. And, and um, you know, he is just a championship inside pedigree in the way he came to practice on Monday. Like, he came on Monday and just was – like he had some fire in his eyes, and he's just like he just was determined that that was not going to. He just refused to let that be him, and um, you know that manifests itself in a lot of really positive ways tonight. Um, but but just his his resolve and his his commitment and his obsession with with getting better is pretty pretty spectacular. You, you think about it, he's carrying a lot he's carrying a lot on his shoulders. And he certainly was great tonight. So his insides was what was really special tonight in terms of execution. I thought the guys did an unbelievable job you know um, St. Mary's is number two in the country in not allowing assisted field goals and so what you know you get into a downhill drive or a ball screen offense and um, and 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 they're gonna kind of spray out they're gonna gap early and then spray out to shooters because they don't they don't believe in giving up shots right and so Dallin did what he took what they give and he did it in probably a better way than any guard that I've had um, in the four years that I've been a coach here, um, he took advantage of, of how they force you to play. Um, he did it playing off two feet. He did it finished off one feet. Foose was incredible ceiling when, once he got to two feet. So I thought Dallin was really special. And I thought, you know, minus some, some freshman mistakes, I thought he was really solid defensively. You know, Dukas got going early. And, um, and then we switched down, switched down onto him, and it just kind of contained him a little bit. And 
And so he made a huge impact on the game defensively also. That was a super long answer. Uh, what was discussed about a defensive plan? Yeah, yeah. And how did you think that played out? Yeah, so we wanted to get into a soft, uh, soft deuce uh, press to see if we can ride a second off the clock. And then um, we were in a blue five switch, which had – you know, we were getting hurt from like minutes 10 to 4. We really got hurt with the roll. It, the whole, roll you know, we had been in a straight blue, and we even managed it really well, like an isolation ball screen defense. Um, and and then they started killing us with 11 on the roll. He just was super physical and big in there, so we went to like a V-back switch, and then we ended the game in a blue switch. And, and um I thought Foose was actually terrific. Like he contained penetration, he stayed down. Um, it's 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 a really complicated matchup, and and he made Mahaney, you know, take a, a, a two feet, you know, off the pivot, fall away two, and and um, it's 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 a great effort, and and Foose is super twisted up because he doesn't want to have a great effort. He wants to have a game winning effort, and so, you know. I thought it, it, I thought the guys were terrific, and, and you know, uh, I mean, it's so painful to think about because we had exactly the same situation with with Gonzaga, but the 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 the, the, the guys were so much. The result was the same, which is just so brutal. But the execution of our guys, in terms of being present and mindful and executing what we're supposed to execute, was like a thousand times better. And so. You know, that, that's, that's, that's what's tough, man, is when you make a lot of progress and you end up with the same result. Like, that's where you just got to keep fighting and, and push through. Three more questions. You talked a lot this week about the physicality of St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like your team handled that, especially the, the um, slapping the ball? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't manage it early very well. You know, we got to two feet a couple times and, and, and had turnovers, and that was tough. A couple block shots jumping off one foot. I felt like we adjusted to it much better as the game went on. I thought we were much better. Um, and then the last two plays, you know, the last two plays with Dallin and Spence going downhill, oh, we just, you know, we just, it just was, you know, it's, 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 listen, this is a, the St. Mary's team is great. They're undefeated in our league. They're number six defensive team in the country. Um, and they're good at what they do, and our guys were really, really good for the most part, and we just were, we're just one possession not quite good enough yet, and that's, um, that is just so, so, such a brutal reality of this game, but, but this game, I'm telling you guys, the karma of this game, it catches up, man, if we'll keep, if we'll keep pounding on this wall, we're going to break through, and, and when you do, with this young group, like, th this group has got a chance to be really special, but, but, and that's dependent on us keep like pounding on us pound we got to keep pounding away and it's hard right now Good question. I, I think you yeah. said after Gonzaga that at the under four you kind of felt like everybody was emotionally spent yeah on that one. when you got to the under four this time like did you feel like I, f was different? I felt like our guys were fully engaged I, th I felt like they were fully engaged um uh, you know, and, and, and like the the last possession is so haunting from that Gonzaga game because we didn't act, we 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 weren't even present, right? And 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 in this, these last four months, we were fully present. We just we we just oh, you know we, we we you know they executed one shot better than we did in the last four minutes, and and um, and so you know there's so much growth that has to take place, and it just is super painful, but it, it's. These guys are committed, and, um, and I'm telling you, we'll, we'll sit in this we'll sit in this room uh, and feel a lot different in huge ways if we keep pounding away. Like I'm, I'm but that's hard to do, so we got to keep doing it. Coach, Coach, question, Coach. I know this one hurts. What's the focus now going forward? You got a good amount of leads coming yeah. in. Um, how do you bounce back? Now? It doesn't get any easier, right? We we just got to get better. I mean, it's. Um, we we don't have the luxury of, of having any uh, of feeling sorry for ourselves or or um, you know we we just don't have that luxury like it's it's um, you know we're we're we are um, we're certainly in a little bit of a hole but but I think we're super optimistic that we can keep getting better and um, you know there's a lot of of, of season left. Uh, and there's there's still everything on the table, and, and we got to get better. So, I mean, that's all all our guys are thinking about. It's like, how can we get better? And um, so, that's 
That's where we're going to live. Thank you. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for coming.